crispy. All right, so um, new video. I think we're just going to kind of uh, wing this one with whatever characters. I don't know if it's going to be specifically themed or anything, but uh, I had a setup done from Werewolf by Night for my last video already on the table. So I basically just shifted some buildings around to give that good, nice city feeling um, and then doing a Spider-Man shot. Uh, you know, I've said before on other videos, for some odd reason, Spider-Man really brings out the best in me, and, uh, this picture really turned out good. Uh, it's Mary Jane and, and Spider-Man, uh, out walking, and in the background, Doc Ock is robbing a bank, he's up on this building, and then, uh, you know, there's a security guard yelling at him, there's people there. You know, I try to add a few people to the background so it looks busy like a city, um, yeah, it turned out really good. I really like this. So he just he's he's stuck on there with one of his attachments. This is a Luke's Toy Store uh, Doc Ock, and he sticks to Legos pretty good. Uh, and they have those uh, pegs in the front of that building that he is stuck to. So um, yeah, we got a couple. We got a lady freaking out. We got a guy running. Uh, we got another lady in the background over behind Peter. Um, yeah. Yeah, and basically just giving it a real street look to it. So, yeah, really like this one. Uh, as I've said just a second ago, um, man, Spider-Man really works well for me. So uh, another fun Spider-Man shot. So let's go on to something else. All right, next shot. Um, <clears throat> I was putting these guys away. I was getting ready to put these guys away and uh, figured I'll do another shot that I've wanted to do for a very long time. And it's just basically Dr. Octopus climbing up a uh, building, side of a building, and... Um, Spider-Man swinging in to stop him. So, again, these pegs are on this uh, Playmobil, or no, this is Mega Blocks, uh, a bank, and then uh, he has these these claw or the appendages that will snap into Mini Mate stands, which are also the size of Lego pegs, and um, just stick them on the side of the the building. So it works very well. And then Spider-Man, I'm on a wood doll. Could have maybe gotten away with hanging uh, some spider webbing from my lamp or something else, but this always works good, makes it nice and stable and easy to work with. So, uh, yeah, and then just hiding that stand that he's stuck to, and uh, away we go. We have a cool uh, Mini Mate shot featuring Doc Ock and Spider Man again. So, anyways, um, let's go on to the next shot. Okay, so we have switched to uh, Scorpion. <laughs> like I said, this. This isn't a, a planned themed, uh, you know, mini mate uh, video, but uh, looks like that's what it's turning into is uh, Doc Ock and Scorpion. So I think I actually, uh, I did a shot before this and I think I actually forgot to do a video for it. Uh, so you'll see that at the end, but um, second shot with Scorpion and actually I'm going to do a third shot just to finish up this picture. Um, we got a construction site here. We got this uh, red frame uh, structure which is uh, from Power City uh, is the brand name of the the, the uh, toys and they work really good for construction sites and they're extremely cheap so if you're looking for cheap dial pieces that would be the one to go for we have these cargo containers from Mega Bloks you guys have seen before uh, recently actually in a barrel uh, that I got off uh, you uh, eBay but uh, basic looking construction set and uh, we again we have spider-man uh, kind of flying through the air dodging scorpions tail and um, you know I've always stayed away from scorpion because his tail doesn't seem very posable but uh, this picture the, the this run of pictures it's turning out to be a little bit more posable than I thought so always good to uh, yeah, I get that going and stuff. So anyways, um, we're going to do one more shot besides the one you guys didn't see uh, of basically the finished uh, product of or the finished part of this real quick series of Scorpion and Spider-Man. So let's go to that. So yeah, we have uh, this is the final shot of the this uh, little series. Uh, we have a Scorpion hanging up from an Iron Bar and back uh, using polyester fuzz as if you know, he was webbed uh, to the bar itself and then around his waist. And then Spider-Man jumping away. He's got a wood doll on his back. Um, yeah, and it's just him jumping away with the thwip hands that we got from the Maximum Carnage 
uh, wave. And yeah, turned out uh, a lot of fun. I didn't never had much faith in that uh, tail pulls ability, but it really came through for these shots. Uh, yeah, excellent stuff. Really enjoy it. Um, yeah. Anyways, um, let's do some sp more Spider-Man shots since we're kind of on that theme. Yeah, so next shot uh, is just Rhino and Cyborg Spider-Man. This is kind of a last second. Uh, had no idea I was going to do it. Uh, I wanted to do some of the Cyborg Spider-Man. Didn't know exactly what to do, but uh, figured a good old uh, Rhino getting tossed around uh, shot by him uh, would be fun. So this is pretty much it. He's attached to him by a piece of wax. Uh, we got some buildings in the background with... Uh, you know, with uh, that that cutout I've been using a lot lately, uh, just to give it a city landscape, and then a little polyester fuzz in this this uh, you know in these rocks, and then the the police car, uh, just to fill in a few spots. But um, yeah, fun little shot, turned out well. Um, I think that's it for this video. I think I'm gonna stop this video. Uh, for now, I'll move on to another one, but, uh, yeah, tons of fun, always fun getting Spider-Man out and taking pictures of him. Uh, he photographs well and so do his villains. So anyways, uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, check out the description of this video for my Instagram and, uh, and Facebook page for all my mini-made pictures. Uh, and we'll see you guys at the next video. Bye now.